what's your thoughts on the excellent 3-1 win today? Oh, the, the, the boys are now really starting to believe in themselves. They're really starting to believe in themselves. And, and it's nice to see them play with a little bit of freedom going forward. And, and we've scored six goals in two games now. And that was unheard of for us before. But we need to make sure that we don't don't just accept that as our limit and that we can get better and better and better because this group of players I don't don't think they're quite aware of how good they can be. Um, any outstanding, outstanding players? I, 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 it's hard to, to single people out but it's no coincidence that Craig Ferguson's gone into centre-half and we've won three in a row. He's been superb playing out of position and he's now keeping established centre-halves out of the team because of how good he's been. And he's, uh, he's, he should, should be really proud of himself because he's been a big part of the, the upturn in form. So, so he should be very proud of himself. What about Anius Lewis again? Like he's playing out of his skin again, yeah, isn't he? He's unplayable today. The, the goal he scored there, he's nearly scored. The best goal I've seen at this level when he took on about 10 of their players in the school. But Solarco got in the way. He's, uh, he's been top draw, but he, he can still be better. And, and that's what we keep trying to drive into him, that he can even be better. So with some coaching, with some work, he can be even better than he has been. But he's been superb since he came through the door. Your thoughts on uh, Tuesday's game against Grace? Yeah, it's a nice one for me, going to, to an old, a previous club. So it'd be nice to see a lot of familiar faces, but, but we, we need to go there and we're not there to make up the numbers. I know they're on a playoff push, but we're now on a push to see if we can get in the top half. So we're now on a, a good run of form and we, we, we aim to continue that on, uh, on Tuesday night. On your thoughts on the three new players you brought in over the last week? Yeah, settled in like a, like a fish to water, German. Today, come on, done a fantastic job for us when we needed to. Sam Dickens in midfield to sort of secure it up a bit. And, um, and the, the other boys have been superb, absolutely superb. So today was nice to get them two, them two involved. And uh, just now, really want to kick on and, uh, and see how far we can take it. Fans again? Yeah, they're brilliant. They they know I love them dearly. So their support's invaluable. When when they make noise, you see the you see the players react to it, and, and they go to another level. They really are our twelfth man. So we do. We just need them. And like I said to you, I think it was a way at hold, which we done interview. It's going to be a roller coaster. We we had the downs. Now we're on the up. So let's just keep keep pushing forward and, and see if we can carry on. What did your missus think of the game? She did. T- did, she, did she turn up? <laughs> yeah, she was there. She was there. She probably told me off later because it was too cold. But um, but apart from that, she she's fantastic. Thank you, mate. Okay. Cheers. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> cheers, mate.